What's good, Libra? <clears throat> Thank you for tuning in to my Angel Tarot. It's your girl, Mimi. Please be sure to like, share, and please, please, please subscribe. Help me get to a thousand followers. I mean, subscribers. So I can start going live with y'all. You know, like, I like pre-recording, but I literally want to experience going live with y'all. Okay, so please help your girl get to 1K. Okay. <laughs> After we get to 1K, <clears throat> um, I'm going to start putting like little like gift baskets and stuff together. And once a month, one lucky winner will be able to win that gift basket, okay? Um, I really just thought about that. So let me actually write that down so I can actually make that a priority. Once I get to 1K, one lucky person will win a gift basket. I may do five people, actually. Yeah, I may do five people. So, yeah, y'all help me get to 1K. <clears throat> and five people will be winning a motherfucking gift basket. So, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. North, north, south, no. You ain't even got to be no fucking Libra. Because I do accept cross watchers. Let's see what is the energy surrounding love. We need to learn how to love ourselves in order to love others. Okay? So let's go ahead and get into it and see what's up. What does spirit want us to see? This is new love. It fell on the floor. So you may be single right now. Or you may be in an unhappy relationship and... You want some new love or, you know, it is the beginning of the new year. You may have just woke up out the blue with this new type of love for yourself. You know, me personally, I've been feeling very different. I've been feeling this, this love, you know, like this self love that's just coming from the inside of me. Like spirit has literally touched me. Deception in the reverse. I feel like, okay, so Spirit is telling me that you were definitely dealing with, you're in a unhappy love life right now, and it was full of deception, and with the deception coming up in the reverse, you like, uh-uh, no more, you know, you're valuing yourself more, and you're walking away from anything that is deceiving, you love yourself first, you're loving yourself first, you're putting yourself first, you're walking away from it any fake ass motherfucker who feels like it's okay to deceive you honeymoon enjoy the bliss of in a holiday together so um you like you may still be in a honeymoon stage you know and y'all may not be married you know like this may be you know like still like in a little puppy love stage but it's so early in this relationship and this person being deceptive already, let go of control issues and passion. This person is very controlling. This, this person is very deceptive. And it's like, at first you was dealing with it because you got a lot of passion for this person. But it ain't that much passion in the world. And that's what you're starting to see. Like, uh, y'all, new love that came out again. This is the second time this shit done fell up on the flow. You definitely got some new love coming in. The It's the new love that you have for yourself. You love yourself so much right now. Like I just said, it ain't that much passion in the world for nobody. Playfulness. This relationship is so early, but it's it got too serious. Like, it ain't even no fun no more. You ain't finna let yourself be in this unhappy ass relationship. And it's still early. You like, uh-uh. I'm sorry, but I have to love myself first. You're no longer trying to control this relationship because you see already that it's not even going your way. It's not going the right way. This person may be very controlling. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It did come up in the reverse, but I'm about to take that in the upright because that's exactly what you're doing. Love yourself first and free yourself is pretty much the same thing. 
you have to release yourself from anything that is bringing negativity into your life in order to love yourself. And y'all know Libras really don't play that shit, okay? I'm a Libra rising. And I'm a very nice person, but I could be mean as fuck. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You may, uh, when you walk away from, from this person, you may meet someone new. Like I said, new love. And you're going to express your love to this new person because you see that they have some potential. But you're also going to express to this new person that you have a lot of love to give. You don't have no time for no bullshit. You ain't got no time for nobody trying to come in and control your fucking life and how this relationship goes. You want it to go the way God wants it to go. You're not dealing with no fake ass motherfuckers. You don't want to jump into nothing. You just want it to go with the flow. And that's just it. So let's see what the wisdom oracle got to say. We got time to go and thinker. You've been thinking about keeping this deceptive person in the past for some time because you thought that this was your soulmate, but with this one coming up in the reverse, you like a soulmate don't do this. You know, a soulmate is not deceptive. Like it doesn't supposed to feel this way if this is somebody that I'm supposed to be with. Show me what I need to see, Spirit. Give me more of my Libras. What do my Libras need to see? No place like home. TikTok. New life. I seen new life while uh, I was shuffling. create okay so no place like home in a reverse this person got you like so like out of your mind it's like you don't even know who you are anymore the way that this person was being so fucking deceptive like so fucking controlling it's like you was letting it flow for like a little minute but it's like you lost yourself in the midst of giving this person a chance but it's like you feel like that you was wasting a lot of time. You know, time is ticking. You feel me? Like, you may be 30 years old. You may be 50 years old. And you like, look, like, this is some, some somebody that I don't want to marry. This is somebody that I cannot see the rest of my life with. And nowadays, especially at these ages, 39, 40, um, we don't date just to date. If we're dating, it's because, okay we are going to eventually get married to each other. And this person is just somebody that you don't see yourself being with. So, you know, it's like you want a new life and you want someone that you can co-create with. And you just didn't see that with this person. Like, who got time for the bullshit? Like, we are grown-ass motherfuckers, okay? Like, we ain't wasting no motherfucking time. And the beat goes on, everlasting, oh, and the beat goes on. I don't know why that song is on my head. The beat goes on, the beat goes on. Okay. All right, Tarot. Show me what I need to see. Three of Swords in the reverse, Seven of Cups. That's too many. It's so funny because the Queen of Pentacles and the uh, Queen of Cups is just steady coming out. So I may be talking to someone 
who has a lot of love to give, who has a lot to bring to the table, and you ain't finna waste no motherfucking time. You, you're not desperate. You're just single. You know, like, you're not desperate. Like, and you're just not about to go for any and everything because you have too much to offer. You have love and money. <laughs> you feel me? Six of Swords. And you're pr protecting your heart, okay? You're definitely pr protecting your heart from anyone that is deceptive, anyone that's not bringing to the table. Because like I said earlier, you're single, not desperate, okay? You have options. So you're walking away from this deceptive-ass person who probably who has a lot of secrets, who wears a fucking mask. This person is fighting demons and... You can see that. It's like, it's not even a secret. The truth is revealed in this person because y'all was together for not even that long. Y'all are still in the beginning stages and they already being deceptive and controlling and shit. Like, you see past this person. You see that this person needs help. Knight of Pentacles. This person doesn't have a lot to offer you. This person really doesn't have anything to bring to the table. The only thing that this person do is literally lie and try to control the whole situation. This person doesn't have any faith if all you try to do is control the situation. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. You are dealing with a needy-ass person. This person has um, a lot of past issues whether it's with family, past relationships or anything. And it's like this person was so codependent on you to, you know, like give them this love. But you like, uh-uh, I got to get the fuck away from this person. This person is controlling, deceptive, and needy. And has regrets. Like who the fuck walk around with regrets? This person needs to heal themselves. And you've seen that shit. Like, thank God y'all ain't go too far but you seen this shit in the beginning you know like you dodged the bullet thank god you blew it i thank god i dodged the bullet i'm so over you so baby good looking now i wanted you bad i'm so through with that because honestly you turned out to be the Best thing I never had. Best thing I never had. All right, what advice do you have for my leapers? Ooh, that came out quick. Work through your fears. Now I barely need you. Do what you do best in me. Gotta tell him rest in peace. Bet you thought I'd die. It don't make sense to me. But I keep my head up high. You ain't even there for me. Now you're scared to be alone. Too many drinks to think about you. I have too many thoughts to let you wander. Now you're an afterthought, I lost you. And now you want me, babe, you want me, but it's by giving me reasons to fly. Pack up my shit and be wise. Jump in the ride, hit up my dude on the side. Like, look what you threw to the side. You get the vibe. Okay, so that is the answers you need are coming. So yeah, just like keep pushing forward, you know, like don't ever have any fear and that you're going to be alone because you're not afraid to be alone. The answers that you need are coming. This, this is just not your person. Conclusions are within reach. Like I said, like this is just not your person. You're going to get the answers that you're looking for. Okay. You're really saving yourself. You're dodging a fucking bullet. So you did good, Libra. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Help your girl get to 1K. Five winners, five winners will be winning a gift basket, okay? It's going to be some good shit in there, some, some good spiritual 
gifts okay so y'all please help your girl out i promise to give back i love y'all bye